Morning friends, and it's actually somewhat still morning. Sometimes I say that and it's like noon or one. It is 10 20. Do you guys want to see our new pet? Good morning, good morning. We got new pets. Alice wants to show you her new pets that she found in the living room because they came in from the cold. First of all, this is her new little bug house uh, that she bought with a Target gift card that she received from one of our subscribers, Lauren. So thank you so much, Lauren. Right, so, guys? Guys, if you can see behind the palm tree, there are... Two crickets. <laughs> so if you don't like creepy crawlies, I apologize. What, baby? We got this one to you all, all the gift card. The what? gift, yep, you used the gift card that Lauren sent you to buy your bug beach house. Medicine, yeah, she's got some allergies going on, so mm -hmm. she's taking some Zyrtec and some Flonase this morning. Don't get your hair in the syrup, and also, I know, we've got a few drips here, so just be careful. You need to put the socks on your feet, not on the table. Um, so yeah, the crickets are still thriving. She put some grass in there that they munched on, uh, a little bit of water in that orange cap, they but a bit of we it. put in some broccoli. Yeah. Yeah, they ate the broccoli. Mm -hmm. Unless God magically just took it. And right. Ate it <laughs> um, oh, Ted. Yeah, Ted's Ted, Ted, like, our no, hamster up in heaven. Back, yeah. <laughs> you guys want to see my special? Alice made a rocket. Are you looking for more crickets, Jack? Or no, you just look, oh, this, this is her now. rocket ship. Asteroid coming in hot from outer space. And she's got and then, um, her control look, panel guys, and window. If you look right here. She has Marco World, Alice World with Alice on top, and then there's a rocket ship. And then back here is all the fun stuff like Fortnite and Netflix and YouTube. And uh, she's got an emergency pull, pull if you and need that, it. And that's all I see the captains and yeah. Mama. What? This is what I think it does. So don't actually rip it off. She's got no, a glue down there. Rip it off. Here. That's good. So what I think it does is when we pull it, it like makes this out here like open and then we just fly Does it eject out. you in case of emergency? Well, that's one of the reasons. And if there's like an asteroid like coming under your spaceship, you pull it, then you will go up really high fast. Oh, okay. Unless it's a per unless it's a predator coming for you. <laughs> like an outer yeah, space yeah, predator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Can yeah, I show yeah, them yeah. The, the buttons? Uh, quickly. So this one's to go to the white, right. that one's the left. These two circles are to press it. Panda button, comb button, sleep mode, awake mode. Um, like the little like things that you pull to. Yep, to gears, it. shifters. Um, if you press the panic, it'll set off these little limbs. Yeah, she was very creative with this. Um, so this yeah, box. That's a shooting star if you were wondering. Yeah. It kind of looks like a cricket. <laughs> she took her crickets to outer space. This box. <laughs> shipped one of these yoga mats i was like that's a pretty big box for a yoga mat but she's like can i have this and she played in it for quite a while yesterday i hid myself in it yeah like two of these can fit yeah probably like four of them could fit yeah all right yeah. i need to tell them what our day consists of okay all right can you guys get your school stuff out get your clipboard your daily fun your reading book and get your ipads at the table please are you recording? i am recording um we got a little bit of a late start today. Normally we wake up at 8.30 and usually are at the table by like 9, 9.15. I slept until 9.30 because I didn't go to bed until super late. So I let the kids sleep in. I woke them up, took a shower, and then when I got out of the shower, Jackson had pulled the laundry out of the dryer for me to fold. He had came down and made the last of the few frozen waffles that he knew we were having for breakfast. So I just cut those up into like strips for them and threw them on a plate with some a cup of syrup so they're just sharing those they're gonna get freezer burnt so i was like we need to eat those so they've got hey. those but um and he lit a candle over here for us yeah so they were both dressed and ready to go so we are off to a good start for today yesterday was a wonderful day it was just the kids and i all day long will work from like 4 a.m until 9 p.m um and the kids were so so good so in the afternoon i had to go pick up some prescriptions from the pharmacy and on the way there we stopped at culver's oh yeah and before my dad was about to go to sleep my mom was vacuuming and then um the power went out like two times. i blew a fuse like three times last night yeah. vacuuming the the entryway rug because there's a lot of salt on it from the kids coming in and out coming in and out from the front walkway 
maintenance for our townhouse complex they salt the sidewalks because we had gotten some snow and we're supposed to get more a little bit more snow tonight and some more on sunday today is thursday by the way um what was i saying oh but the kids were really really good so on the way to the pharmacy we stopped at culver's and they had little tokens left over from their trick-or-treat haul back in october for a free scoop of ice cream or a free cone so alice got a children's chocolate cone and jackson got the flavor of the day which was georgia peach because he really likes peaches he likes like peach yogurt and stuff so i was like you'll probably really like that and they both enjoyed them very much so that was a nice little treat and then eventually my ice cream melted and i didn't really want it <laughs> and sissy finished it uh the shirt i'm wearing today is from nadine west usually it wouldn't fit and it would like go above her belly kind of it was tight when i got it like three weeks ago and now it fits basically perfectly. and now it fits nicely and i'm wearing some jeggings because you know mom bod but feeling very cute today so, Jack said you are very cute today. Thank you, buddy. He's my. If you're wondering if I'm crying through the video, um, my eyes are just watering because of my allergies. Yeah. yeah. We need to brush your hair and fix your braid. But we have to leave the house here in about an hour. I have to go to the rheumatologist and get blood work done. Just my standard six month blood work um, because of like the embryo and stuff that I'm oh. on. And hold on one moment, okay? Mm -hmm. They must be just as excited to talk as I am today. Um, but it's drive through so I pull up so the kids can come with me. We just pull up. I turn the car off and open my door. I take my blood right there in the drive through and then that's it. What, buddy? Um, I always right good Alice. look charm. I tell her confident things. You are like very she's sweet boy. Pretty <laughs> and she has good cuddles. I do have good cuddles. He still cuddles with me and he's nine. Yeah. Alright, Alice, what were you gonna do? I was gonna. Show yeah, you can go ahead and take your. Do you want help with it? One, two, three. Did it go up? I did sniff. Do you want help? She's taking her flow nice. Would you like some help? This is a newer bottle, so it might be harder to pump. I All right, ready? One, two, three. Good one. One, two, three. Good. Does it burn? I, think I might want to take it because. Are you feeling I'll sniffly? Help, kind of. Like, listen. Okay, let's wipe okay. off the tip and then I'll give you some uh -huh. too. Um, and my battery is dying, so hold on. All right, so I finally got them sitting at the table. It is 10.35. I'm not sitting at the table. Well, sit down, please, and don't talk with your mouth full. Mm -hmm. Jackson is choosing to do his 40 minutes of independent reading. And what book are you reading? You want to show him real quick? I think it's called Cosmic Commandos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By Christopher Eliopoulos. Is it good so far? Yeah. I'm on page 84. It's a graphic novel. Alice is choosing to do her main curriculum, which is... A sell us through power homeschool so she's gonna get some language art science and math done huh and then I think they should have time Jackson should have time after his reading to do his daily fundamentals um, worksheet. not really I want to see you do your schoolwork whoa <laughs> do your schoolwork we are at the drive-through tent to get my blood work they are checking me in now um, and then we're headed to, we need to go to the library. Yeah, the same card as us. Yep, and then we need to get gas too today, I forgot, so. All right, three vials down. The kids, I was trying to get them to look, and they couldn't see out the window. I had my arm, like, down in the doorway, but they took three vials, and I'm good to go. Ah! Alice just asked Jackson if he wanted to stretch out his face. We're at a red light, by the way. Um, we just saw a funeral procession go through, so I explained to the kids why there was like cop cars stopping traffic. Now the light's green. I'll touch base later. All right, we are home. Will is on his way home. He just texted me. So it is uh, 1247, so he should be home in the next 15 minutes. These are all the books we got from the library, just real quick. Jackson is currently making his way through Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, he's on book nine. He's also read, I think, book 13 and 14, just out of order. But he's on book nine. Big Nate is another series he's currently reading through. It's another, well, I think all of these are graphic novels because they wanted more graphic novels. Um, Otto's Backwards Day, this was a recommendation based on books that we had checked out. And I think a lot of these the kids will both maybe want to read. Um, Knights of the Lunch Table, the, table, the Dodgeball Chronicles. I think is this book one, yeah, that's book one. I have book two on hold also, but it hadn't come in yet. Um, Nat Enough and Forget Me Nat. These ones are more up Alice's alley. 
We've got Cat Kid Comic Club by Dave Pilkey. Um, same author as Dog Man, and I think there's just one in this series so far. The Misadventures of Salem, Salem? Yeah, Salem Hyde. Um, probably, yeah. Book one and two, I think. Thing. Yeah, book one and two. So we've got Spelling Trouble and Big Birthday Bash. Sorry if they're not focusing very well. I'm trying to quickly do this because the kids want lunch. Okie Dokie Donuts, open for business. This is by the same author of the book Jackson finished this morning, The Cosmic Commandos. It's just a really quick, quick one. Um, Edison Beaker Creature Seeker, book one and two. We've got The Night Door and The Lost City. So these ones are... Again, they like graphic novels, and if it gets them, this one doesn't have a whole ton of reading, but it's whatever. Um, Geeky, what is this? Geeky Fab Five book. I know I checked out a few. I don't know which one this is. This one's, I think this is just book one. Um, it's not rocket science. I thought Alice would like these. It's a group of, I think it's a group of girls, just like sciencey, geeky little girls. Um, that one's definitely cool. Which I thought would be cute for her. And then um, uh, the Who... Oh, no. Alice, we don't have Who Was Jesse Owens, so you can't start reading yet. I thought we did. Um, what Was the Underground Railroad, which we will use as a family read aloud. Jackson is assigned Who Was Frederick Douglass. He's going to do just a short little biographical. It's not even a report. It's like a one page. But he's going to read this first and then... Ed I like tell Alice and I about him and then Alice who's grumpy sorry I'll look and see when it comes in it might come in tomorrow and we'll make a special trip to pick it up okay she's kind of a grumpy pants this morning I don't know what's happening in her neck of the woods over here um but she's going to read who is Jesse Owens so I'll check and see when that comes in but those are the books we've got and now I'm gonna go make them some lunch real quick all right we are sitting down to lunch and they're working on schoolwork while they eat Jackson's doing science. Alice is doing language Daddy's arts. Home. Daddy's home and he's resting on the couch. Lunch is Bosco sticks um, and French fries. They're sharing just a little. I gave bowl. him a little piece of broccoli. Yeah, um, Bosco sticks, French fries. They've got some cucumbers. Jackson picked a few cubes of cheese, and then he's got a little cup of frozen peaches um, that we got from school food pickup. I don't know if your area is still doing this, but our county is still doing like the food pickup that they started during the whole COVID thing. Our schools are still virtual, and so um, anyone in the county 18 or younger, homeschool or not, public school or not, just anyone 18 or younger is eligible to go pick up school food. You can pick up on Mondays and you get two days worth, and then Wednesday you get three days worth um, of breakfast and lunch. And it helps our public schools keep their funding for like their lunch program and stuff. So. Um, we've been doing that, if not both pickup days, usually on Wednesday. And each time we pick up, they get a hot meal that they can eat like right then for lunch. And then everything else is either frozen or like ready to be refrigerated. But this week when we went, we went yesterday on Wednesday, they had pizza for their hot items. So they enjoyed pizza yesterday. And then they had Bosco sticks that were frozen. So we just left them in the fridge overnight and I cooked those in the microwave. Um, they got some corn dogs in there that they can have tomorrow. Alice doesn't like current corn dogs, so Jackson will probably eat those. Um, and the french fries were also frozen. And I just throw them in the air fryer for about seven to eight minutes. Uh, I cook them about halfway through, sprinkle some salt on them, and then finish cooking. And they're nice and crispy, and the kids like them that way. So uh, Alice's Jesse Owens book did not come in, like I mentioned. But she wanted to read a Who Was book, and so we had one on our bookshelf, um, Who Was Lewis Carroll, which is the author of Alice in Wonderland. We celebrated his birthday a week or two ago by coloring Alice in Wonderland pictures and stuff. And of course, we love Alice in Wonderland here, so she's going to start reading that book. Because my name is after Alice. her name is after Can Alice. Oh, yeah, the pictures they colored for... We just, like, a few months ago, we realized that, um... Garage, garage door is magnetic. Yeah, we, we've lived here, it'll be six years this July. Never knew the garage door was magnetic until, like, last fall. So, we like to hang some artwork there. What? Um, since I'm always thirsty, I decided to try and pinch there, and it came back quickly, so I don't think I'm dehydrated. You're not dehydrated, but I'm what, just would, really thirsty. what would you like to drink? Chocolate milk. Didn't you have one today? Mm -hmm. No, you had regular milk. Okay. Well, 
a magic straw. You're not using a magic straw with chocolate milk. No, I was just talking about Oreo. Oh, it does not want to focus on you. You move too quick. So what I will typically do when I make lunch or dinner is I will pull out like whatever prepped produce or whatever that we have. Like these are um, uh, protein balls. They were from a mix that I got from Bubble Goods Food. They're a keto cinnamon walnut, and we added um, nut butter and some chocolate chips to it. Anyway, and then I had some sugar snap peas. We had some cheese cubed up and cucumbers. So I will just pull stuff out and require them to pick so many items, and that's and they take what they're going to eat. So that's one way that I ensure they're getting like fruits and veggies and stuff in, but not dictating which fruits and veggies they eat. And this white cheese is extra sharp or like seriously sharp cheddar. It's the Cabot. And Jackson was like, this white cheese tastes funny. So he didn't care for the white cheese. So I'll save that for Will and I. Um, we have a few cubes of Colby Jack in there. And then I have a whole nother bag in the fridge that I just haven't done anything with yet. It's on, not even opened. All right, Alice and I are gonna work on some night zookeeper. Like and Will. Daddy, did you go hunting with Konea? Uh, <laughs> You're a character in this prompt story they're giving her. So we're gonna work on. He did. Yeah. Jackson's finishing up. What are you working on? Um, language. Language. Okay. We're getting there, and then we still have solo time with each kid, and then table time as a group. What did we figure out today about your face? My mom thinks I have five or four. I definitely have four, but we don't yeah, know Yeah, finish that five. sentence, because it just sounds, I said, well, what do we know about your face? And you said, I think we have five or four. Loose teeth. <laughs> so it makes it sound like you have five or four faces. Yeah, she's got at got least it. four loose teeth. I got this one this morning. Yeah, she's got like one down here, three up top, and then possibly another one down here. It's hard to say. I know, I, I thought I heard it, like felt it wiggling this morning. Yeah. I'm reading. Lewis Carroll. Yep, go finish your reading and then we'll do some. I'll count to one. <laughs> go finish, okay? I wanted to say I didn't have time to read it. Pew. Pew. <laughs> We're dancing. <laughs> what is that? Alrighty, it is um, uh, 3.37. I am making dinner just so it's ready whenever everyone wants to eat. We got a pound of ground turkey and a pound of ground beef that I mixed to make tacos. Two packets of taco seasoning. Um, I got the th one from Thrive Market and some diced jalapeno. I'm going to make some um, homemade Mexican rice. I've got just some rice and water and some tomato bouillon in there. I'm going to wing it. I've never made it quite this way. Um, I also have some tomato sauce that I'll put in. I'm going to do some refried beans with cheese melted on top. And yeah, it's taco night here at our house. All right, so we've got dinner served. We've got Mexican rice, cheesy beans, and tacos. Soft shell tacos, which we roll up like a burrito. His curls are getting so curly and <laughs> long. The top is doing us on all sorts of weird stuff but though. But soon, when my dad cuts his hair, we're gonna... I'm gonna cut my hair. Yeah. It's hard to maintain, but the back is what I like. He had curls when he was a baby, and I just think his curls are adorable, and they keep growing back. If you've been following our book journey, oh, I thought you were going to throw the pillow on my lap. Um, our family read aloud book right now is The Book Wanderers. We got this in our, uh, what is this month? This month is fair. So it was our January Land of Storybook subscription box. Uh, we did get our February box in this week. Wow, you're noisy out there. And the book for February is The Tale of Despero, which we're actually going to hold off because we're going to do some reading for Black History Month instead this month. But we have like one more reading session tonight. We will be finishing this and we'll be able to do the craft tomorrow, which is like um, a paper mache sort of canvas. It's really cute. Um, maybe we'll vlog again and show you. But... I'm going to finish this with the kids, and they're doing, they just finished chores, trying to get them to turn around and focus. I'm having a hard time focusing today. Hmm. So we're doing some discussion. We finished the book, and one of the discussion questions is that Tilly struggled with finding good friends. Have you ever struggled with finding a good friend, and why do you think a good friend can be so hard to find sometimes? 
Alice? Um, because like it's combining of one that'll be true or full, um, kind, well, a lot of ones are kind, but, um, like, helpful, quiet. Yeah. Do you find it easy to make friends or difficult, or how do you approach that? If I you... mean, it's kind of easier. It's like... more on the easy side. I, yeah. I like just, like, we talk, and then we play on the playground, <laughs> and after a few days of that, we become friends. Like when you were at public school, you mean? Yeah. What about you, sis? Um, so, like... Like, there used to be double slides at my school on the playground, and, like, um, it's probably, like, how I met, like, Spale, but, like, we both went on the slide, then, um, one of us said hi, then we started talking, then we, then one of us asked, do you want to be friends, right? Yeah. So, what if we went to the park, and there, you didn't know anybody there? Would it be easy to make a friend there, or would it be difficult? What do you think? Uh, Jackson's made a friend at the Apple. Pumpkin or yeah. Is it easy to just start playing with someone even if you don't yeah, know that's them? Yeah, what I do. I play with them and then yeah. they're like, hey, why do you keep on following me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, well, I play with them for a little bit and then we become friends. Become that's good. Friends and, yeah. and then you're again. Yeah, that's the hard part about <laughs> meeting people like at the park or something. You get to play with them and you have like a playmate for and the hour. An hour later. And then you that's to go it. home. Yeah. All right, friends. We finished the book. We did discussion questions. It is 7:40, and I'm trying to get the kids wound down because they are all sorts of hyped and driving me bonkers. Um, I just loaded up Netflix. Will is going to bed soon. He does have to work tomorrow. We're gonna watch, or I don't know if we're gonna watch the whole thing, but I put on Over the Moon. I just dropped my controller. It has just been a day. Alice has been in some sort of mood uh, all day. Alice, don't worry about it. Um, so, it's been a little stressful. Just, no, you can have nothing right now. Um, so, we're going to close this out. I keep wanting to lean forward. There's nothing to lean on. We're going to close this out. Thanks for coming along today. Wait, wait. What, dear? Huh? You can lean on me. I don't want to lean on you. Anyway, um, I'm going to get them winding down. I, I, no, please sit. Go find a so spot. They're just, uh, they're something. Popping on here one more time real quick. And yes, the lighting looks very orange and yellow because we have all the lights dimmed down to like warm colors. Um, I just got my blood work results back from this morning's blood draw. And apparently, I'll just read it. Um, our labs indicate some significant anemia. I would like to have an anemia workup done to see if you are iron deficient, B12 deficient, or if this is anemia of chronic disease. Please call to schedule an appointment at your earliest convenience. So, I will be calling them back tomorrow, see if maybe they can even get me in tomorrow. Um, that explains why I'm constantly freezing lately. I don't know if you've noticed in videos lately and I'm always like, I am so cold and like constantly drinking broth or tea to warm up like my hands because my circulation is apparently wonky. So there's that. Now I'm really going to bed because I'm exhausted. Alice fell asleep watching the movie. Jackson is not asleep, but it's almost quarter after nine. So we're going to head up and go to bed and hopefully have a good day tomorrow. So again, Thank you, good night, all that good stuff. We will see you on the next one.